and two battery storage systems are being tested to supplement Singapore's power supply when demand peaks. The projects will tap a $7.8 million grant from the Energy Market Authority. The trials aim to maximize cost and space while helping to enhance the stability of the nation's power grid. These are no ordinary batteries. They're about the size of shipping containers and will be tucked away beneath buildings to save space. Energy storage firm VFlow Tech will trial the batteries with the aim of complementing Singapore's power grid. Most buildings need energy storage or some kind of backup through digital sensor. So if this project is successful, I think we can slowly eventually expand this in all the buildings. Potential trial sites for these systems include hotels, car parks and even shipping ports. And to boost power supply reliability, the firm will test a hybrid system of lithium-ion and vanadium flow batteries. Lithium-ion batteries can quickly discharge energy and can be used to charge multiple electric vehicles. Vanadium flow batteries can store excess power generated from solar panels for long periods of time. When you combine it, you improve the efficiency of the net system, you improve the theoretical safety aspect of the each system. So that's why it's very important. The other project by Posh Electric will test newer sodium ion batteries. These cost-effective batteries are said to be safer and better for the environment. Sodium ion batteries can be about 30% cheaper than lithium ion batteries when deployed at scale. Um, and that is primarily due to uh, the lower cost of sodium ion. The Energy Market Authority says these systems can play a role to overcome power supply disruptions in Singapore.